Give him the left. Hey, how you doing? That's your boy up there? Come on, come on, you're dropping your left. Hey, hey, you know, I was thinking the exact same thing when I was walking up right then. I said to myself, boy, you know, he's kind of dropping the old left, you know? Yeah, thanks for the tip, I'll be sure to tell. So yeah, okay, you, you don't know me, uh, I get that, that's okay. Um, I'm the guy you wanted to talk to. The one with the juice. Come on, you know, the steroids. Brooker's friend. You're Howie Fines? That's me! <laughs> you need it? Howie finds it. Uh, I use that when I meet somebody for the first time. It sort of breaks the ice. You know? Oh, yeah. I feel so much more comfortable now. Thank you. You see? <sighs> come on, come on. All right, look for the opening. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, man, you really know how to... Um, how about we go do a little business? Let's go. All right, think of this here as a starter kit, okay? Let's try it out for a little while, see that everything's copacetic, and then we'll talk about setting you up with a more permanent supply. How much for everything you got there? For you guys, uh, 6,500, how's that? 6,500? Brooker told me he gets it for half that. Hey, do I detect an accent there? I do, don't I? Hey, hey, don't tell me, let me guess, uh, South African, right? It's Australian, you drongo, and I still don't like the price. All right. Look, I admit, 6500 sounds like a lot, but you're getting 10% off the regular, okay? But you... uh, yeah. Come on, you guys, you don't think I'm going to try and rip you off, do you? All right, look. I'll go six grand, but you're killing me here, you know? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, uh... 5500 but that's my final offer, okay? Yeah, right. I just give it you by the money. Now we're doing business, huh? See the thing, be the thing. What's that mean? See the thing, be the thing. You know, you see the thing, you be the thing. Simple, like that. Anyway, it's been nice doing business with you guys. Have a great day. Hey, uh, Howie. FBI. Uh, Can we talk? Uh... You know, I really love to talk to guys, but you caught me in a really bad time, you know, because it's a really busy time of year, and I actually have to... Oh, if you don't understand, you want that talk now. Oh, come on, you guys don't want to do this, do you? Come on. See the thing, be the thing. Come on. Give us your supplier. Things will go a lot easier for you. I don't know if you guys noticed, okay, uh, but this thing really hurts. Did you get me some ice or something, please? Uh, I'm pretty sure it might be broken. You know what I don't like? No, oh, what? Yabbers. What's that? I mean, I heard a shrimp on the barbie and good mate and all that, but... Yabbers are people who talk too much. You see, now that's a very, very hostile thing to say. I mean, seriously, I I've been picking up that you're both under a lot of stress, am I right? I see your lips moving, Howie, but you're not saying anything. Look, you don't give us something of substance, mate. You're going to be yabbing it up in Marion for the next five to ten. Uh, sorry. Tell him I get it to him as soon as I can. Hey, uh, aren't you going to introduce me? No! no. Gee, come on, what's the matter with you guys? I'm just trying to be polite here. How he finds. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I saw your ID there. It's a nice picture. Most people take a lousy picture on those standardized kind of things. Take me, for instance. I got dozens of IDs, hey, not one of them does What point did we lose control here? I know this is tough for you, but try and focus, would you, Howie? It's been nice talking to you, but if you don't mind, we got some business matters we got to cover, okay? We wouldn't want to interrupt that, Levi. Nice girl. She belong to one of you? Okay, okay, okay. Look, I've been uh, thinking it over, your little proposition, okay? You want me to cooperate? I'll cooperate. Under one condition. The suspense is killing me. I only talk to the blonde. He wants to talk to Levi. Never see the seven wonders 
that'll be alright Should my tender heart be broken I will cry those teardrops from knowing I will be just fine Cause nothing changes Howie says he'll cooperate, but he wants you to be his contact. I'm sure this occurred to you, but I never wrote anybody before. Got any last minute tip? That's simple. Find out what he needs and use it. Get inside his head. You do that, you've got a snitch for life. Easy for him to say. I wonder if she'll do just fine. <coughs> I didn't mean it literally. You got any cotton balls around here? Some frozen vegetables or something in the fridge? So you're supposed to turn them, not cook for them. Oh, boy. This really hurts when I press on it like this, you know? Maybe it would be a good idea not to push on it then. Now. So I hear a uh, fighter here is like your, uh, what, deaf seen eye dog, huh? Oh, Levi can hear just fine. I'm the one who's deaf. Levi, huh? huh? So he doesn't bite, does he? Only the people he doesn't like. How you doing there? Mm. Yeah, you're looking uh, real uh, well brushed there, Levi. Good boy. Harry, we were talking about steroids, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. Uh, here's the thing. Um, I, I don't really think that I can help you out, okay? I mean, I really don't have all that much, you know? It's the race of time. Hey, hey, hey. You don't want to go, do you? Strike three, Howie. What do you want to know? Why don't we start with your supplier? What do I care, right? Harold K. Grimes, that's him. This is his address and phone number. You wanna check out the gym, too. Uh, guy thinks he's a regular Joe Lewis, you know? We'll do that. All right, time to head back to lockup, Howie. Oh, hey, uh, Sue. Thanks for the piece. You're welcome. So pensive, Miles. Somebody spilled coffee all over my 302 report. And now I have to submit a new one. Try keeping it in the filing cabinet like everybody else. Problem solved. I would if the filing cabinet actually opened. How many times have I told you? Pound on the top and yank at the same time. Well, she's right, mate. The old pound and yank. Works like a charm. <laughs> Not too hard. Get you in the shin. I'll remember that for next time. FYI, just found out there's a new office space opening up on the fifth floor. Completely remodeled, all new. Of course, I knew the minute we moved in here, something better would open up. What kind of new are we talking about? We're talking new, new. Computers, desks, carpet, individual offices, paint, telephone systems, a whole bag of chips. So the new office has new stuff. Plenty of people love old, you know. Those are people who can't afford new. Let's go check out these new offices before it's too late. We checked his house, his place of business. Let me guess, he wasn't there. You know where we'd be able to find him? Knowing Grimes? He's probably on the beach in Mexico having a tall one. He took off a couple months ago. Thanks. Yeah. Howie gave us bad information. Yeah. What now? Now, we put Howie away. This is it, 5102. Nice location. I already like it better than our place. Let's take it. Shouldn't we at least see it first? It's locked. Which means you have to get the key. And that can mean only one thing. Gotta go through Randy. I am not going through Randy. Relax. Never leave home without it. 
<laughs> Who needs a key when we can simply break in it? Ah, fresh paint. Now there's a scent they should offer at the car wash instead of new car. Check out the individual offices. Hey, Dibs on the corner office. Dream on. This is all about seniority. That corner office is mine. Hey, What's going no. on here? Oh, hey, Randy. How you doing? I believe the more relevant question is, what are you people doing? I just thought we'd stop in, have a look around. Hope you don't mind. This is strictly against procedure. You need to have a viewing appointment. A viewing appointment? Who would have thought there was such a thing? Well, there is, and you don't have one. I'm going to have to insist you leave. Yeah, no worries. Look, we'll be in and out in a couple of minutes flat, okay? Unfortunately, Agent Manning, as Vice President of Management Services, matters of procedure are my worries. Randy, I know you and I haven't had the most cordial history in the world, but I'm sure we would both rather let go of the past and press forward as civilized individuals. You really want this office, don't you, Leland? I... Then I suggest you leave. Now. We've seen everything we needed. We want to put in for the offices. What's the next step? I'll be sure you get the application for occupancy form. Thank you. You... I suggest you leave now. Where does he get off talking to us like that? Let him say whatever he wants. The only words you have to hear are individual offices. Well done, Miles. Now breathe. Just breathe. Your chip was bogus, Harry. Oh, you kidding me? Well, are you guys kidding me? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's us. We're big kidders. We were just wondering if you didn't know that since he's been gone a few months. No! What, me no? What, you guys think I'm dumb enough to give you a bum tip? Look, I, I'm sorry, guys. Really, I, I didn't know he took off. I mean, a guy can take a vacation, can he? I mean, it's still a free country, right? Not where you're going. Well, fine, fine. You can send me to jail, see if I care. I happen to love jail. Harry, I trusted you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. Look, um, maybe I slightly overstated my connections in the steroid thing. Forget the steroid thing. I got something else for you you're gonna love. No, I'm not going to forget the steroid thing. You are going to give me the steroid thing and whatever else you've got. Okay, okay, whatever. I mean, you're gonna have both. Then we got a deal, right? If they're both good. Okay, it's fine, done. There's this guy you gotta talk to, uh, Sheldon Kramer. He's the one with the steroids. Uh, he's the guy that knows the other guys. You'll get what you need. He hangs out at the gym. And what's the other thing? You ready? Hijacking. What kind of hijacking? Trucks. Filled with everything from cigarettes to stereos, okay? Here. I've been pulling some jobs for this guy, Riggs. Well, he's not the boss boss, but he's a boss. He's moved a couple of million in inventory last year easy. You like it? Well, if it's real, we like it. If it's not, we're not gonna like you anymore, mate. If you know what I mean. I can't look out for you if this turns out to be a lie. No, I swear on my mother's grave. Not that she's dead or anything, but you know what I mean. Listen, I haven't even got to the good part yet. You're gonna love this. You know that trucker that went missing in Maryland? The one that made all the papers? Mm -hmm. I happen to know one of Riggs' guys jacked his truck. Where is he? In a shallow grave just off I-66. And I can lead you right to him. Congratulations, Miss Thomas. Looks like you just got your first snitch. They found the trucker's body buried off I-66, just like you said. <clears throat> Eldred says he'll sign off on us making Howie an informant. So what do you say we have a chat with Howie and uh, rustle up some hijackers? Here, it's the application for occupancy form you requested. Have it on my desk by 9 o'clock tomorrow. This thing is 14 pages long. It'll be there. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, where exactly does this acre of bureaucracy end up? On my desk. Mm, wouldn't you know? Ah, a crew trophy. From Harvard, no less. How impressive. Club champions, three years in a row. I myself have never felt the need for naked displays of self-aggrandizement, but then again, that's just me. 
Loathing is not a strong enough word to describe my feelings for that man. So why don't you tell us what you know about how this operation works? All right, this is the thing. I've taken the liberty of preparing some visual aids. First, the hijacker targets a trucker. Next, said hijacker slaps a phony state trooper decal and a red flashing light on his car with which to pull over said trucker. Then, the hijacker proceeds to stick a gun in the face of the trucker, and the trucker cooperates because he figures why risk his skin for some company's truck. How do you fit into all this? That is a very good question. I'm glad you asked. Me and other guy, we meet the hijacker at a previously negotiated meeting place with a clean truck. Then we unload the merchandise from the dirty truck into the clean truck and then drive it to a warehouse where it would later be fenced by a bing bada ban bad modern day pirates. And Riggs is the guy you work with? That is correct. Riggs is the organizer, the planner. They deal in mid-range merchandise, anything from 50 to 100 Gs. Above that, you're dealing with this guy here. A guy by the name of Carl Franklin. He's kind of like the godfather of 18-wheelers. We know all about Carl Franklin. We've had paper on that guy for years. So? Pretty good, huh? You bust me on some steroid case and you get Carl Franklin. Not too shabby, right? That kind of makes you wonder why a guy with your connections would want to leave all that behind and hook up with us. You got a point there. But the way I see it, law enforcement, law breaking, there's a fine line between the two, you know what I mean? A guy like me can get tired of looking over his shoulder all the time, all right? Besides, I might kind of like you guys. You really think we can trust Howie? I think we can trust him. He needs to be a part of something, right? it. It would be nice to get Franklin. And you see how he is, how are you? Bada bing, bada boom. Hey guys, thanks for lunch. You know, Chinese can usually make me a little gassy now and then, but still. We want you to contact Riggs. Tell him you want to set up a meeting with you and Bobby. And what exactly am I supposed to say at said meeting? You're going to tell him. That Bobby's a dispatcher who has a couple of crooked drivers working for him. Get Riggs to believe that Bobby's built himself this nice little hijacking scam dealing in high-end merchandise. Bobby is having a hard time fencing the goods. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm with you so far. Next, we'll provide a truck with all the merchandise. You and Bobby deliver it. We'll wire you up so that you can get enough evidence to flip Riggs. No, no, no. One problem. Flipping Riggs ain't gonna happen. No. Riggs would rather be six feet under than rat. Okay, so we don't flip rigs. We deliver the first truck. That's our way to get in. Then, you tell Riggs that our next shipment's the mother load. He turns us on to Franklin, and then we take him down. Now that I like. That's good. <laughs> hey, so Bobby, looks like me and you are gonna be like undercover partners, right? <laughs> Let's just put it in the proper perspective, okay? Undercover, yes. Partners, no. Oh. Hey, do I get to wear a badge? No. no. All right. And the dog's got a badge. Mm. Just asking. Boy. Boy, do I hate it when people are late, you know? It's rude. But it's a real sign of disrespect. Like your time's not valuable, you know? Yeah. You know, you should really think twice about what you eat. I bet your cholesterol is sky high. Eat your eggs. I can't. Stomach's a little off. Hey, do you really think this thing's working? Hello? Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Hello? Hello? Testing. Coming One, two, in three. loud and testing. clear there, Howie. Yeah, all right. Here's our guy. Hey, Rich. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm starting to think you weren't going to make it. I got tied up. Uh, that's okay. Settle down, Harry. Oh, phone right, Bobby? Oh, hey, this is my friend Bobby, the dispatcher I was telling you about. There you go. How's the family? How, how's the wife? The, the kids? Everything's good. Howie terrific. tells me you got some merchandise you want to offload. Yeah, Howie tells me you're the guy to do it. Win-win. Sounds good, huh? So, uh, what kind of goods are we talking about here? Uh, electronics, high-end stuff. A truck coming up, hundred thousand. I give you ten G's to take it off your hands. Ten G's? Mm. Whoa. Look, mate, if we're not gonna have a serious conversation. 
other things to do. Yeah, yeah, well, what are you talking 10 Gs, huh? I mean, it's like highway robbery. Excuse the pun. Oh, well, you don't like it. Find somebody else. No worries. Easy, Bobby, don't push too much. I'm sure we can work something out of your body. Yeah, yeah, we can make it work if he wants to be fair. I can go 12. You said 12, what do you think about 12? 20. Bobby says 20. 15. How do you feel about 15? Righto, first load only. You tell Franklin it's a get acquainted special. Then we renegotiate. I can live with that. Yeah, me too. Well, I can live with that. I must say, Howie sure does sound like a piece of work. It's a good thing he falls into your job description instead of mine. Deep down, I think he's got a good heart. I don't know. It's a strange feeling being Howie's handler. I mean, even the word is strange. I guess you're right, it is sort of. I, I can't help feeling responsible for him, you know? Well, you didn't force him into this. You're just doing your job. Remember that. All right? Where's our waitress? I gotta get going. You go ahead, I got the check. Okay, deal. See you back at the ranch. Hi. <laughs> Little Flash. Funny running into you like this. Small world, huh? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? I was just in a neighborhood, you know? I was in my apartment, you know, just sitting around, and I thought to myself, it's a nice day, you know, you should go for a walk, and what do you know? Howie, stop. Did you follow me? Well, the thing is, you know, I, I wasn't so much following you as some... Um... See, there's this thing I wanted to give you. It's nothing big, you know, just, you know, just a little something. You... Hey, hey, Levi, old boy, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, there it is. Howie, I can't accept this. Why not? Oh, hey, it's not hot. No, 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 I swear, I got the receipt to prove it. Look at that. It's real gold, it's classy, huh? It's totally inappropriate, Howie. Oh, you don't think that I was thinking of you and me? Oh, no, no, I mean, I, I, I never. It, it's not like that, okay? Look, it's not too often I get to be around someone like you. You got class, you know? You treat me like, like I was a real person. <laughs> and this is just a way to say thank you for giving me a chance and all. Where did you learn that? Thank you. I saw you saying something to Jack the other day. Anyway, go ahead and take it. It's not like I can use it, right? I can't. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure, that, that's fine. Yeah, um, it's no big deal. I mean, I can take it back and get my money. It's no problem. Well, um, you know what? Uh, I guess I should go. You know? He followed you? I think what he really wanted to do was give me something. His way of saying thanks. Whoa, give me something. Like what? Just a little necklace. Well, I didn't take it. It's nothing. I, I really think Howie's basically harmless. Harmless or not, it's gonna stop. You're gonna call Riggs and tell him the truck's gonna be delivered tomorrow at 10 a.m. the old Worthington warehouse off I-66. That's where we'll meet him. Okay, okay, yeah, the old Worthington warehouse. I, I know the place. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Boy, this is gonna be great, huh, guys? One more thing. Yeah, sure, what is it? About Sue, I wanna be very, very clear. If so much as a hair on her head goes out of place, I'm gonna assume that you rearranged it. Do you understand? Well, what are you saying? It's me, Howie. You know how things are with Sue and me. I mean, we're practically like brother and sister. <laughs> She's not your sister. You're not a brother, okay? Unless it's business, you don't see her, you don't call her, you don't even bloody think about it. Do you read me? Yeah, like a book. All right. Get them while they're warm. A present from me to you. You took all the cream filled? Which news you lose. 
Hey, I spoke to Randy about those offices. And? And we're not getting them. They went to white collar crime. White collar? Oh, hurts. I think we'll live. No, I guess it's not the end of the world. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with where we are now. Guess you're right. We just moved in here anyway. I mean, it's an insult. How could anything go to white collar? Don't yell at me. You're asking the wrong person. You're right. I am. Randy, come on. Can I at least talk to you about this? I'm afraid not. As it is, I'm quite busy. I'm just asking you to explain it to me. That's all. Well, there's not much to explain except that you didn't get the office. Randy, listen. All I'm asking you to do is to reconsider. The paperwork is already in motion. There's no stopping it now. It would be completely against procedure. I'll bet you just love this, don't you? You know, you people are all the same. You people? Small-minded people. Little minds who just love to suck every little drop of power out of their little jobs just so they can feel for one little moment that they really have power. I think this meeting is over. A vicious, pompous little... Somebody is going to win this war, and it is not going to be him. So, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. <laughs> Bring it on. Am I right? Okay, look, can we please keep the talk to a minimum? Yeah, sure. Who's <sighs> that guy? Bobby's ready to go, Jack. They're ready. I'm going live. All right. Wagon's home. That's him. Good, huh? <laughs> Over here, mate. Okay, audition's over. I've got something coming up. 400,000 in top line computer equipment, and I want 20%. The kind of those gotta go through Franklin direct. That a problem? I get a hold of Franklin. You and him can never sit down. Why don't you do that? Why do you want to cut Howie out? He's done a good job, hasn't he? Look, I've been on the inside with him, okay? This little bloke is like a soda bottle that's been shaken up a bit too hard and is just waiting to explode. Howie got us in, but there's no good reason to use him anymore. It's gonna kill him. You know what this means to him. Something I may have forgotten to mention. Don't get personally involved with your informants. I just did what you said, Jack. I found out what he needed. And that was to have somebody believe he could be more than just a two-bit con man. He needed a friend. I know what that's like. Okay, fair enough. Right now, we need you to smooth things over with him and just send him on his way. Nice of you to take me to lunch, Miles. Not at all. What's the catch? Just long overdue. And now with your promotion, I thought it was time. Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, you wouldn't happen to have any influence in signing office space, would you? Why? What's, uh, what's up? There's a new space opening up in the building, and we want it. Well, that's mainly Randy Pitt's domain, isn't it, if you talk to him? Well, let's just say that Mr. Pitts has other ideas. Oh. And hey, you're Randy's boss now. Well... I really want this, Walt. All right. Let me look into it. Hey, Sue. Hey, Harry. So, all well, is good, boy. <laughs> hey, what the heck? I'm gonna have what he's having. Right? <laughs> what do you think, huh? Things are going good, right? I got you in tight with Riggs. We're moving on up. <laughs> I told you I could deliver. Harry, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. It's not a problem. I'm here to serve, okay? <laughs> so, uh, what's our next move on the whole hijacking thing? You say the word and I'm there. We're... We're going to handle things from here on. Whoa, 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 whoa. S slow down there just a minute. F for a second there, it sounded like you're taking me off the case. 
Howie, you got us inside. You did your job, and you did it really well. But we're going to have to handle it from here on out. But I thought we were in this together, you know, like, like a team. We were. But we'll need whoever's involved from this point on to testify. If we continue to use you and put you on the stand, we lose you as an informant. L let's be honest with each other, you and me. We both know testifying or not testifying has got nothing to do with it. The truth is, they want to get rid of me, right? How is it? It's okay. <laughs> When you're me, you kind of get used to people wanting to get rid of me, so it's okay, it's fine. Well, um, so anyway, it's, it's, it's been great, you know, it's, um, it's been real nice getting to know you. Bye, Sue. Hey, you know what? They're wrong about me. I have news. It took persistence, determination, and no small degree of aggravation, but I got us the new offices. No way. We didn't weep. Who's the man now? Your pal, Walter. Well, when in doubt, go around, or better yet, go over. So when do we start packing? Yesterday. We are out of here in two days. Thank you very much. I'm out of here now, before I get hit by the debris of Miles' exploding head. Hold on. Hey, at least we got the new offices. I don't know. What? These are the blueprints to the new offices. Where'd you get those? I got my connections. So, what's this little square in the middle with all those boxes? Those are the cubicles. Our cubicles. Yeah, uh, your cubicles. I have an office. Guess again. They went to white collar crime. They get the offices, we get the cubicle. No, no, nobody said anything about any cubicles. I can't work in a cubicle. It's demeaning. So, we withdraw the application, we stay right where we are. Wouldn't that be nice? Only this office space is already spoken for. <sighs> well, hold up. I got an idea. You got us in, you get us out. That's your idea? You got a better one. I already pulled strings once. There's no way I can put things back the way they were. It's a credibility issue. It would look as if I don't know what I'm doing. Please, Walter, just this one time. No can do. You want to change now? You got to deal with Randy. Well. Um, uh, well, I can't work in a cubicle. Howie, it's me again. I really need to talk to you. It's important. Thanks. Maybe he were on a vacation, huh, Levi? I just got off the phone with a, a cop over in the 9th. A motorist witnessed a potential murder on some back road in Maryland, and the perps scattered as soon as they saw the motorist, otherwise the guy'd be dead. And as it stands, I guess they beat him up pretty bad. And what did this have to do with me? The guy claimed to be FBI, and he named you as his next of kin. Howie? Stick around, Harry. You hear me? I'm gonna be needing you. Yeah, how's he doing? Not good. Look, Sue, about Howie. Um. I'm sorry if I've seemed a bit hard on him sometimes. You don't need to explain. No, it's not that I don't like him. It's actually, the little drongo's been growing on me, you know? Yeah, I do. So I just interviewed the motorists who saw how he get beat up. They've ID'd a couple of thugs, uh, a bunch of priors, but low level. Could have been a random attack or not. You know, we just don't have enough to be sure of anything right now. Hey, is this 
Special Agent Howie Fines, and I am going in. Undercover. I got a meeting set up with the big guy, Franklin. I'm gonna do you proud, Sue. I promise. And just in case I don't make it out of this, I want you to have the necklace. I never did take it back. Hospital just called. How is Wake? I got your tape. Did Franklin bind the wire? Is he responsible for this? It's okay. He found the wire, but we still got him. You put a tracking device on Franklin's shoe. Is that possible? Where would he get something like that? Let's get on it and ask questions later. I see you, but you don't see me. That sneaky little yobo. You opened the door. I think it's time we slammed it shut, huh? What's this? It's a gift basket. Silly me, I thought it was a bribe to get your old office back. Don't make this any worse than it already is, okay? Uh, I also got you these. Wizard tickets. Oh, and uh, about what I said before, well, I apologize. Sorry, not enough. What? Ask me what is enough. All right. What is enough? I need a favor. It's for my mother. All right, everyone. Put away your bingo cards, please. It's time for our guest speaker. Tonight, we have two young men from the FBI. One of them happens to be my son, Randall Pitts, Vice President of Management Services. But uh, first, we have another nice young man to say a few words, Special Agent Miles Leyland. Word for word, Leyland. While it is true that many look upon us, the special agents, as the heroes of law enforcement, I am here to assure you that it is not us who should be celebrated, but instead your thanks and admiration should go to those working behind the scenes. Those chosen few, those dedicated Americans who unselfishly throw themselves into whatever administrative fray that may arise. These are the true unsung heroes of this great land. Randy Pitts is one such hero whose unfailing service, courage, and generosity astounds and nourishes myself and every other agent he's come in contact with. Let us put our hands together now for this great man. So without further ado, 
Bingo! We've already done that, Harold. And now the moment we've all been looking forward to. Come on up, son. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. How long have you been working for Randy, young man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, so maybe I don't look my best. It can't be that bad, can it? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> How you feeling? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I've been better. But, but I wanted to know what happened, you know, with the case. We got him, Howie. Yeah, Riggs, Franklin, the whole gang. Caught him red-handed with two truckloads of plasma screen TVs. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, they'll be getting free room and board courtesy of Uncle Sam for a long time. Thanks to that handy little tracking device you put on Franklin's shoe. Good work, Harry. So, what do you say? Uh, we still a team? We're a team. I don't mention it. <laughs> it's like I told you, you know, you stick with me, you're gonna go places. Hey, matter of fact, I think I maybe got something for you guys. Get this, there's this one nurse here. I'm telling you, she's got some sort of scam going on. <laughs> I'm laying here the other night, minding my own business. She goes tiptoeing by, all quiet-like, right? I call her in, because I need a little attention now and then, you know? I mean, they leave you alone here for hours and hours and hours. She won't come in, huh? What's that about? Seniors Speaker, Man of the Year, Miles Leland III. Well, laugh if you will, but you all owe me. Big time. Welcome back, Miles. 